I'm Imani Boyette of the WNBA Chicago Sky, and you're watching ThisIs50.com. What's good? It's DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough Zano, Bridge to the Streets. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the streets, right here on ThisIs50.com. I got a special, special guest in the building. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Imani Boyette, and I play for the Chicago Sky WNBA team. That was quick. In that. In the, in, that's it. That's, that's, all it. That's, all, that's all we need to know, right? Die Hard 50 fan. Die Hard 50 fan? Yeah. All right, that's what it is. How did you get involved in basketball? At what age? Um, I started playing basketball late. So I grew up with a basketball family. My mom's an Olympian, Hall of Fame. My dad played. Oh, you just can't say that. Your mom was an Olympian, <laughs> Hall of Fame. Like, what's your mom's name? My mom is Pam McGee, um, USC legend. Okay. Um, Y'all probably remember her from Kissing Dr. J. Wow. Uh, when my brother was in the slam dunk contest, 2011, JaVale McGee, my big brother. That's your big brother. Yeah, he plays so, for Golden State, correct? Yes, he does. Right. So, you know, basketball is a family thing, but I hated it growing up. I did everything else but basketball. I was trying to be like the next to not Lathan, but then I grew to be 6'5". So, there ain't many roles for me, you know? So, right. But um, I started playing in high school and it worked out. Got a college scholarship and then I made it to the WNBA. And, and you're from, where are you from? I'm from LA. You're from LA. Mm -hmm. And where'd you go to school? I went to Texas. To Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you when you were playing ball, were they forcing you to play, like you said, or was it um, was, was you, you, you felt obligated to play basketball? It was just kind of like, what makes more sense? Like, how am I going to get to college? Because I couldn't afford a college scholarship. So what made more sense? Was Juilliard going to take me, or was any other basketball school going to take me? So hold on. You said you couldn't afford a scholarship, but your, your parents were uh, all-star athletes. True. You know, Olympians, so they, they had to be some type of revenue generated from that. Okay, so my mother played basketball when women did not get paid. Oh, that, that's. that's you know, like women got course. paid, but it, we're doing a lot better than right. it was back no, then. No, you're doing a hell of a lot better. You know? So <laughs> you're doing like, a hell of a lot better. Exactly. She was the second pick in the first WNBA draft, and back then they was playing because they wanted to build a game, not necessarily because they could live off of it. Right. Um, and she was old when she got drafted, she was like almost 40. <laughs> That's not old. For women basketball players? Yeah, I guess. But you're calling your mom old? She ain't gonna yeah, like yeah, that. She's gonna, yeah, she's gonna fight me when she sees it. But, so it was just different. So my, my dad's a pastor. And my brother didn't get drafted until eighth grade and he was like, you're not my child, so go somewhere free. Um, right. So yeah, it was about going to school. Right. So when you um, when you played in, you, you say you went to Texas, correct? Yes. All right, so when you played in Texas, did you come out early or? Mm -mm, I stayed all four years. Um, I thought about it for a second, but one, I wasn't old enough, so I would have to go overseas. At the time, I was with my boyfriend, who's not my husband. Okay. And Does he play, is he in the NBA too? My, my <laughs> husband is getting ready for the NFL. Wow. Yeah, athletes everywhere, athletes everywhere. Wow. So I, I said to say when you have kids, they're going to be playing what? Basketball, yeah, are, football, baseball? We already got scholarship offers, whichever way we want to send them. And they're kids. not even born? Nope. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> no, you, good genes, good genes. Wow. Excellent. Wow. I need, you need to teach me that. That's, that's, I need you to gotta, You got to find yourself a tall woman and breed. A tall and breed? Breed. <laughs> when, when both the parents are over six feet, it's breeding. It's no longer appropriate. It's right. breeding. Right, okay. Um, how do you feel with men's basketball and women's basketball? Like, do you feel there's a discrimination? Like, do you think you guys should get paid more? Or, um, I got or a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, when's the last time you watched a WNBA game? No, nah, it's been a minute. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's been a minute. Exactly. It's so, been a minute. Now that you know WNBA players, but I watched watch the highlights. I watched the highlights. Okay, <laughs> all right. That's a close step. I take that. Right. Um, I don't. That's just, I think we need to be paid. Like, we're the only professional league where the coaches make more than the players. So I don't, I'm not saying I want a million dollars. Obviously, we're not gener generating enough revenue to ask for that. Right. But I don't want my coach to make more than me. You don't, your coach should make more than you. Exactly. Right. So I think, but I think we're moving in the right direction. Uh, there's a lot of WMA players that are getting out in the forefront. Obviously, everybody knows Skylar Diggins, Candace Parker, right. Elena Deladon, me. Um, I'm going to throw that out I there. like how you threw so that you in got, there. You got speaking I saw that. Existence. I like that. Um, so I think we're moving in the right direction. Um, right. So and now we have a new fan. Exactly. So what are you doing to make sure women get more money or more than the coaches? What are you doing? To, to, think, or what can be done for, about that? Um, I'm a really big voice, uh, so I try to make sure I'm in, in as many arenas as possible. I cyberstalk 50 to get into a game last year. So um, I did. I cyberstalked the hell out of that man, and it worked. Thank God. Yeah, it worked. It yeah, worked. I just saw that it worked. Yeah, yeah it so, definitely worked. That's great. Um, but I think getting him to come to a game and just getting using our... I told y'all when I get a chance, I'll come in the game and take your money out, so your money is a car game, take it out, Scott.
powerful. Right. Um, and if you get 50 Cent to come to a game, all his fans are going to watch because, wow, what did he go to? Why does he care about this? Maybe I should look, think about it too. And I'm not really sure if 50 Cent fans watch the WNBA. Right. So I think it's important to just branch, build those branches between leagues and pop culture and music. Right. I'm coming from a family athlete, do you feel, um, I guess, I don't want to say lesser, but pressure to do better than your big brother or your little brother or your family um, or coming from, you're coming from a legacy yeah. of athletes. It's fun. Is there pressure, pressure on you? It's not pressure. It's fun. Um, so, like, when I was younger, I was Pam McGee's daughter. And then my, my, my brother made it. I was Jamel McGee's sister. Right. And now I'm, like, slowly but surely, like, they're going to be Monty Boyette's brother and mom, you know? So that's right. the fun part. Like, seeing how much how much better I can be than my brother. Or, right. I'm, I'm better, though. Let the record show. I'm the better child. He just gets paid more. You just so. get paid? Yeah. Okay. Spoken like a true female. <laughs> <laughs> true female. I can imagine you have a lot of little girls that maybe, obviously, they want to be like you. What, what, what kind of advice would you give a young female that, that want to play basketball and doesn't know which direction she should go in or maybe feel intimidated by, you know, males or whatever? I think, one, anything you can do, I can do better. I'm, like, super feminist. Yeah. Um, so if a guy can do it, you can do it. I'm not saying go play football. Don't do that. But you can play football within reason, too. within reason, right. you know? Um, and I think if you work hard and you put your heart in something, everything comes out positive, you know? Right. So... I encourage little girls to play all types of sports, and hopefully they end up in basketball, but I think it's fun, especially like just letting girls know that they can be strong and powerful and still beautiful. Right. Have you ever gotten a visitor for, at your game where you noticed somebody was in the game watching, you got nervous that watching you play? Besides 50 Cent? Oh, yeah, somebody um, like Michael Jordan. Nah, not really, I think. Uh, or whoever. I don't really notice, one, like I'm like super locked in, so I don't really notice. I can't hear any, anything that people are saying, like I'm like zoned in. Right. Um, and it's fun. Like, the, if I see somebody that's killing, I'm like, if I see somebody, I'm like, yo, that's the goat. Like, I want to show out for you, right. you know? But why Why would 50 Cent make you nervous? He's not a ball player. Because I knew he was coming. Oh, okay. All right. I'm thinking another ball player that and you may have looked like, up to that's watching you play would make you nervous. Not really. Like, that's the, the fun part about being in WBA and basketball in general is that you can look up to a player and the next thing you know, you're playing them. Right. Right? So, like... Idols become rivals. Yeah. Exactly. Got you with the Drake line, yes. Um, and so, like, that's actually a, tr uh, a, a that's actually a true line, not even a Drake line, but yeah, that's, and that's, that's like gold. So like, I always want to say like I looked up to Candace Parker, I looked up to um, Elena Delazon, but I play them now, so I don't look up to you. Like your competition now, you feel me? So right. like the first time I played Candace Parker and Nicki Minaj, like, and I'm from LA, so I was at home and I had people that I hadn't seen since like first grade, like right. in the stands, that stuff. I was like, that was kind of like shell shocked. I was kind of nervous. Right. But then I was like, yo, you just another player. Like, you, you, I see red now, like, it's so whatever. Right. But that's the fun part, like, playing people you've been looking up to your whole right. life. Right. And you know what? In basketball, hip hop, and ball playing is always going hand in hand. Like, yeah. you got ball players want to be rappers, and rappers want to be ball players. And yeah. some, of them, some of them can do both. Were you ever in that category? You um, wanted to do music? My whole family could sing, so I sang a little bit when I was younger. Oh, yeah? Um, but Do you still sing? No, I don't. Oh, I don't. No? I can hold a tune, but I, I don't. I don't. It's not a thing no more. Right. Um, and my brother actually makes beats and has his own recording label. McGee? Mm hmm Oh yeah. The Air Music Group. He got an artist? Mm hmm Who's the artist? Uh, Rome to Still. From, just, from L.A.? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. But yeah, my brother has. He's like that. He's always been doing that. Like. Right. When he first came to the league, his first beat he made, he sold to like a rock band or something for a couple, couple grand or something, and so. He started that, and now he's really, really So he about should it. try to do beats for the NBA, you know, get two checks. Yeah, he's really out here. Um, so, yeah, he does that. That's his his realm, and he's, like, always freestyling and stuff, but nah. So um, 50 Cent is obviously your favorite um, hip-hop artist, correct? Yes. Right. So what's your favorite verse from 50 Cent? All right, let's see if I got it off time, right? <laughs> right? We're going to do a second after. You're going to do it? Yeah. You're going to do it? Oh, you're, okay. favorite song from 50 Cent. Um, favorite, favorite song. song. Favorite song from 50 Cent. Many Men, um, 21 Questions. And, uh, damn. You chase the hoes, I chase the paper. <laughs> that one. You would like that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one. You, you would like that one. My top three. That's your top three? Yeah. So other than 50 Cent, who else you look checking for? Um, I love Lupe, always. Mm -hmm. Hard, die Hard Lupe. Drake's not really a rapper no more, but Die Hard Drake fan. Um, I really just got into Jadena. Mm -hmm. I really like him. I just like everything he's about. Um, yeah, I think that's that's my top. Those are my rappers right now. Right. Every now and then, I like slide in some. My husband's from Houston, so I slide in some Big Crit, Slim Thug, all that. And 
but right. that's about it. I was going to ask you, how does, how does that work in a, in a household? You, you're, you're always on the road. He's always over there. How does that work? How do you make that work? Um, it doesn't work, but... It doesn't? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible? Yeah, I would but imagine. it's like... kind of like we decided that we wanted to be a power couple where I don't have to take a backseat and he doesn't have to take a backseat. So we knew what we was getting into when we got married. Uh, and that's the fun part. Like, I, I love having a man that's confident enough to be like, you get the shine right now and you got it. I don't need to like dim your light. And now it's his turn. Like he's gonna get drafted and I'm gonna be like the happy homemaker in his own life. So it's dope. Um, and sooner than later, we'll be in a one household and not so much, so long distance. How long you guys been married? Um, coming up on two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. So right now you're not, you're in separate um, places? Yeah. I just came off, we just came, I just came back from Israel. So we've okay. been apart for like the last three months. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. How does that work? Like, uh, that's, I, that's crazy. Um, trust is a big one. Woo! Um, but more so, trust is honesty. Um, and we're really good friends. Like, we're best friends. So, right. <laughs> yeah. So, I got a question. So, you you're, you're, smiling no, so listen, for this you're, question. You're an, attractive, you're an attractive young lady. So, how does he deal with, you know, guys coming on to you? Um, one, he's a very big man. <laughs> so... Yeah, he likes 6'4", 300. So, right. you know, he's very imposing himself. Dudes don't really get at me, I guess. And I, I rep him really hard. Um, I, I noticed. I rep him you put really... Him in the, you, he's in the top five of all time. <laughs> I rep him that hard. So, I don't know. He, he just... I guess he, he knows that, like, Cass is checking, but I, I ain't checking, so... Right. And huh. don't you want your... Don't you want your girl to be mad? Like, don't you want everybody to want your girl? Ain't yeah. that a song? You yeah, know? you do. They ain't looking out on one. You, know? you just don't want her to entertain it. I, you know. That's it. You want you want everybody to want it, but she shouldn't entertain it. Exactly. You know, so, you know, as long as you're not entertaining it. Nah, mind yeah. my business. All right. How long do you see yourself playing ball? Um, I want to play to the next Olympics, uh, because that's a goal of mine. Right. So, and also it depends on like. If he start popping sooner than later, then I'll probably put away the shoes sooner than later. But I probably see like ten years. Ten years? Yeah. Then I All right. So make sure you check her out on the court near you. Yeah, coming soon. Exactly. Hold up. When you see us, one knee us. I mean, pay respects. We out.